hello with my advocacy I'm fully transparent so today I'm having to lay flat on my bed I'm crashed I've got what we call payback I've got ME and now symptoms of long COVID um, and that means if I overdo it all of my symptoms flare you can't see in this video because of the lighting but the wider room is darkened and I'm having to lay flat because being upright is just intolerable. Now this overexertion is part of the reason why we need this mechanism to report harms. Um, as I've said already, a new mechanism will benefit many other illnesses that are prescribed non-pharmaceutical treatments. Um, but actually patients are being harmed by those treatments. Obviously, I'm an ME patient, advocate, and I tackle ME issues with my social entrepreneurs that I own, run, manage. Um, so I thought, in the spirit of transparency, you'll see what I'm like on a crash day. Um, so greetings from bed. Anyone that doesn't know what ME is, please take a look at emmyfoggydog.org. At the very, very basic level, our bodies don't create or use energy effectively. And this is why non-pharmaceutical treatments like exercise-based rehab and CBT, because there is a specific CBT, Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, that's been designed for ME. And it basically tells patients they have false sickness beliefs and they need to push past... Um, their energy limits to try and get better. Now these are both non-pharmaceutical treatments and patients even up to today have nowhere to report harms centrally. They're not covered by the MHRA and yet I'm fortunate my payback or post-exertional malaise over the last 15 years that's how long I've had ME. The, the longest my payback has lasted has been a week but there are hundreds of thousands, if not millions of patients worldwide, but in the UK, tens of thousands of patients who have been permanently harmed by non-pharmaceutical treatments. Their post-exertional malaise may last months. It may cause their severity level to worsen to the point where they're permanently bedbound. That's why we need somewhere to report harms to. Please sign the petition today. Whether you have ME, know someone with ME, whether you've got a different illness that is also negatively impacted by non-pharmaceutical harms. Um, let's all work together to bring about this new mechanism. Thank you very much for listening. Take care and please sign. Thank you.